Today we're taking a look at the new 2024 Ronin by Prime. Just a reminder guys, head on over to mikesarchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure. Welcome back to Mike's Archery and we are taking a look at the 2024 lineup from Prime and they have got a new, what I would consider a midline bow with the Ronin. Now this bow is a really nice bow. It's going to be scaled down version of a Rev X4, keeping a lot of the features of the new RVX but at a lower price point and doing away with some of the nicer features of the newer bows. But let's get into the specs of this Ronin uh, so we can kind of break it down for you. So the speeds on this bow are coming at you at 342 feet per second and the axle to axle is 34 inches. This gives it an overall cam to cam length at 39 and an eighth. Now the brace height on this bow is at six and a quarter and then the weight is at four and a half pounds advertised. Now as we took it out of the box, it came in at 4.8 and then when we took the dampeners out of it, we got it down to about a 4.6. Now since it is using the core cam system, we are seeing a draw length adjustment on this bow from 26 out to 30 and a half. It's gonna fit most guys, but if you do need that longer draw, the Ronin's just not gonna work for you. But 26 is a pretty short spot, getting most guys on the short end of things. Now the draw weights are gonna be a little less of an option on this bow coming to you with just 50, 60, and 70 pound options on it. And that is part of the production of it, trying to keep the price point down on this bow. Now as far as let off, it's gonna come with the standard module on the core system, which is gonna be an 85% module. But with that, you can upgrade it by buying that extra piece on the end of the module to allow it to adjust from 75 to 85 percent if you would like. Now as we take a look at the features on the Ronin, it does keep a lot of the high-end features that Prime has been known for for the last few years. Again, it's still using that core cam system which allows you those core mods and all that adjustability and great feel of their flagship bows. It also keeps that easy tune shim system for quick tuning, on the cams, if you need to adjust this, you've still got all the C-clips in there. On the axles, you just loosen it up, pop those out, swap those around, and put it right back to get a perfect tear out of this bow. From there, it still has the center grip technology of their high-end bows, so it's still gonna sit and shoot and feel very similar to their flagship models. Now, whatever it is that Prime does with that center grip technology, it just makes these bows hold very solid and it improves your aiming and stability throughout the draw cycle. They also keep that nanotechnology grip and it allows for a nice warm touch so you're getting all those features that you see on their high-end bows. If you choose to get that add-on piece to the module to allow you to adjust that draw length and let off, you're gonna be able to adjust this bow in quarter inch increments on the draw length. They also included that new Flexus cable guard on there sitting in angle, giving you more clearance and also taking the torque out of the bow at full draw, but keeping clearance with the cables. The other great feature from Prime that they've had for the last several years is free strings for life. And even though this is what I would consider midline price point bow, you're still gonna be able to utilize that free string for life option once you register this bow. You can take it back to your dealer, have them order those strings for you every couple of years, and keep this bow nice and fresh and shooting perfectly. Prime is known for a lot of color options, and on the Ronin, they scaled that down, obviously for production costs, so that there's not as many options on this bow. You're able to get it in three solids, being Morel, Black, and the new Recon Gray, and you're also able to get it in the XK7, as well as Realtree Edge and Sub Alpine. Now here's the best part of this bow, and it is the price point on this model. It's coming to you at 849 bucks retail. So if you're wanting to see some of the top end features and the shootability that Prime brings to you, but you don't want to drop $1,200, and you're not looking to drop $1,200 on some other flagship model, then definitely take a look at the new Ronin at 849. It's going to be a fantastic bow, giving you a lot of that top end feature and feel for a much better price. Now we're going to step back to the lane and we're going to shoot this bow over the chronograph, give you a full breakdown of how it performs and feels. Even at this price point, I think you're going to be surprised with the performance this bow puts up. And as usual, we will be shooting it at 29 inch draw length, 70 pounds on 85% let off. So we step back here to the lane and we have got the new Ronin from Prime. And this bow is gonna be a sleeper, I think, for you, but we're gonna put it through its paces. Again, shooting it on 
our normal setups with 29 inch draw length, 85% let off uh, and 70 pounds. So let's uh, shoot this over the chronograph and see what kind of numbers it puts up. So, all right, so the numbers on the Ronin are coming in on a 350 grain arrow at 311 feet per second. With a 400 grain arrow, it's 294. With a 450 grain arrow, it's 281. And with a 500 grain arrow, this bow's putting out 268. So overall, some really nice numbers. And if you go over and check out the other video on the new RVXs, as far as speed and performance, this bow is right there with their new RVX. So overall, a really nice bow. And I think at the price point that Prime's got this bow, it's going to be something if you're not looking to spend that flagship dollar, then you can look at this Ronin. But as far as the draw cycle, it's using that same core cam system as the other Prime bows. And it has got a great feel. It comes over really nice and smooth. It might be a little harsher dropping off uh, in the back end than some of the RVXs. But overall, still a very smooth draw cycle coming into a really nice solid back wall. Now, as far as the shot afterwards, still feels really nice. You can tell it's a little different than the RVX. It may not be quite as dead, but that's a superficial feeling. Uh, and really overall this bow is performing fantastically. Same grip as the other bows, so you're getting a lot of the great technology that Prime has come up with over the years with that center grip. Still holds and points very well. Uh, you can tell the difference between an RVX, but boy, for $849 with this new Ronin, uh, it's going to be a bow that you definitely want to look at if you don't want to spend the extra dollars and you're not worried about all the integrated stuff that's on the market these days. So overall, I think Prime has got a real sleeper here uh, that's going to put some archers in a great position that didn't want to spend a ton of money and get top performance out of a bow. So if you're looking for one of these new Ronins from Prime, give us a call here at Mike's Archery so you can try one out.